What's up everybody, Tom is coming back at you again. And today I wanna to do a video on soft plastics. And I'm not talking about the new shiny stuff that we all love to go pick off of our favorite retailer shelf. I'm talking about the old, dirty, dried out stuff that you already own and have in your boxes. A little, little tip or trick that I learned to help preserve and rejuvenate what you already own. And this is something that you can do with crappie tubes, bass plastics. So let's get you guys on the chest cam and we will see what I am talking about. All right, all right. Uh, I'm assuming I'm not the only one that I know there's always been a debate, keep bass plastic in boxes, keep them in the original bags. Well, I'm kind of a 50-50 guy. I have stuff that I've had for years in boxes and I also keep stuff in bags, but that's, a, a conversation for another day but nonetheless whenever you i've noticed whenever you keep soft plastics in boxes they tend to dry out throughout your fishing season they get drier than a popcorn fart they stick together like two pieces of chewed up bubble gum and this is a little way to help restore and kind of bring them back to life and like i said earlier you can you you can either do this on crappie tubes uh, lizards worms creature baits whatever whatever it is that you got that's all dried out and crusty and it's really simple and they they make oil specific for soft plastics but what i've always used is mineral oil and one mineral oil is a lot cheaper than the plat than the oil that is specifically designed for the plastics and two Sometimes if I want to get creative, I will add some garlic oil or anise oil to the mineral oil. But I like to use straight mineral oil for storage purposes. I can always add a garlic scent spray later on if I want to give it some flavor, a little zest, if you will. So what I like to do, like I said, Good old mineral oil warning. This is a laxative. No, I have not learned that the hard way, but I don't want you guys to either. Mineral oil, 100%. Little eyedropper. Stick that guy down in there. Bang all the extra off. And then what I'll do is I will literally just put a couple drops in each slot. Doodle loop, doodle loop so on and so forth you guys get the idea then mix it around and voila i guess i probably should do this is kind of what they looked like before not very moist looking horrible word choice but that's what i went with and you cannot see the flake quite as well as this guy you see the reflective properties are a lot better and this helps rejuvenate the plastic like i said you can do it on bass saw plastics and you can also do it on crappie tubes and when it comes to crappie tubes same same scenario a couple drops in each section slop however you like to say it mix it around and voila you are done is it tedious? Yes. Does it pay off in the long run? Of course it does. Here is, and we'll do this just kind of for fun. Here is a before in this color. Sparkle comes through pretty good for the most part, but the tails are a little dry looking. A couple drop, drop, drops. Stir, stir, stir. And... Look at it now, a lot better. It's not as dry, colors come through a lot better. Super easy, super quick, and a little trick that I have learned over the years of doing this. When it comes to crappie tubes, bass tubes, lizards, if you want, after you get done mixing your oil up, get you a salt shaker, which I do not have out here, and you can shake some salt on it, mix it up, mix it in, now you have salt added freshly oiled plastics 
Well, everybody, I hope you really enjoyed this little tip I was able to share with you. It's, uh, it's something that's helped save me a lot of money over the years instead of just throwing away dried out, crusty plastics. Instead, just bring them back to life. You know, there's, sometimes there's something that you just really enjoy fishing with and they stop making them. And you may have some, but they may be stuck together like two pieces of raw bacon out of a bacon package. This is a good way to help cure it. Uh, you guys are seeing this on YouTube. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, red bell. Please leave me a comment. I really like to know what you guys want to see. I really hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you guys next time.